have received from the Lord what I handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also the chalice, after supper, saying, This chalice is a new covenant of my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this chalice, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And Amen. with your spirit. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for coming this morning. It's lovely to see so many people at church this morning. And today's Mass is being offered for Alan Cantwell. And we're also celebrating with May and David Nyland. They're celebrating their wedding anniversary. Is it a hundred years, May? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Almost, okay. How many, how, many, how many is it? 48. 48, isn't that awesome? 48 years of marriage, Emma. Uh, they're both heavily involved with the building of the new church and do a tremendous job for us. So as we thank God for their life and their marriage, let us call to mind our sins. I confess, Lord my God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Alan Cantwell. O God, whose providence never fails in its design. Keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The reading is taken from Hebrews chapter 12, 18 to 19, 21 to 24. Brothers and sisters, you have not approached that which could be touched in a blazing fire and gloomy darkness and storm and a trumpet blast and a voice speaking words such that those who heard begged that no message be further addressed to them. Indeed, so fearful was the spectacle that Moses said, I am terrified and trembling. No, you have approached Mount Zion and the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and countless angels in festal gathering, and the assembly of the firstborn enrolled in heaven, and God, the judge of all, and the spirits of the just made perfect, and Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and the sprinkled blood that speaks more eloquently than that of Abel. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Responsorial Psalm is from Psalm 48. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. O oh God, we ponder your mercy within your temple. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, the city of the great king, God is with her castles. Renowned is he as a stronghold. O oh God, we find your mercy within your temple. As we had heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts. In the city of our God, God makes it firm forever. O oh God, we find your mercy within your temple. O oh God, we find your mercy within your temple. As your name, O oh God, so also your praise. Riches to the ends of the earth. Of justice your right hand is full. 
Some people want to do it, and then the next time they they didn't want to do it, and they want to be in this group, and they didn't want to be in that group. It, 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 it's been incredible. But thank God. I think all in all, when, 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 when the dust settles, we should have close to 100 people doing the choir, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to it bearing much fruit here in the church. You know, when Jesus called people to follow him, many people said no. They made excuses. You know, the, the one you hear most often is, I don't have time. Well, when a person says they don't have time, what they're really telling you is, God is not a priority for them. That's what they're telling you. And that's okay. That's their right. That's between them and God. You know, uh, you know, uh, not everybody responded to Jesus like the twelve. And it's the same today. Not everybody will want to be in a quad. Not everyone will want to work for the church or come to mass. But that's between them and God. Someday, they'll meet them and they'll be sorry they didn't. <laughs> so I'm glad you all are here and I'm glad so many of you are in the quads and uh, keep up the good work. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Let us pray for May and David Nyland, 48 years of marriage. May God grant them good health and many more wonderful, happy years together. And may they keep working hard for the church like they've been doing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we thank God for all the people that work so hard for our church, like the extraordinary ministers of the Eucharist, the people who have organized the quads, the people that do the Bible studies, the prayer chains, the different care ministries that we have. May God reward them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all our sick. We have so many people with the coronavirus, so many people um, uh, needing surgery. Kim Pertraselli is having surgery tomorrow. Frankie's son has a detest, uh, detached retina. So we pray for all who have asked for special prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all the faithful departed. We remember especially Buck Fayard and Otis Gilmore. Buck was a regular at Bingo, and his funeral will be on Friday at Holy Family. May God uh, grant him eternal rest and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> we thank God for this day. May we remember Jesus is our mediator. He's our mediator with the Father. He intercedes for us. So with confidence we present our needs in the name of Jesus Christ, our mediator. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hand. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and the Lord also of the church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as that has supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by the sacred mystery. You make them holy, so that the human race, bounded by one word, may be enlightened by one faith and united in one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament, so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, 
we may pass over to the heavenly realities here for a shadow. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Saint Basil, in the year three, born in the year three thirty, said. To partake of the holy body and blood of Christ is good and beneficial, for he says quite plainly, He that eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Who can doubt that to share continually in life is the same thing as having life abundantly? You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread taught the word, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Lewis, our bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O oh Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now for me. Good morning. Good morning. From Hebrews 12, 18 to 19 and 21 to 24, these words spoke out to me. You have come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel. I went to Exodus to find out Abel's blood more clearly. Abel's suffering uh, Abel's offering to God had been more acceptable than Cain's, his brother. Anger, jealousy, violence overtook Cain, and the first murder took place. Brother killed brother. Cain was sent off to other lands as a punishment. The shedding of Abel's blood was paid for. But Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, shed his blood out of love for us, all of us, and became our salvation. And you'll agree, his was a much better word than the blood of Abel. Now I looked in Mark 6, 7 to 13, and found this description of Jesus sending his apostles out. And it tells us that if any place will not welcome you, and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. Not anger, not jealousy, not violence, just a little shaking off of dust. And those people who did reject Jesus' apostles undoubtedly lived to regret it, as Cain did, and as those today who reject Jesus. Dear Lord, Give us the grace to accept Jesus in everyone we meet. As Deuteronomy says, with all our hearts, with all our souls, and with all our strength. Thank you. Amen. Very good. We've got a cute little email here. Mother said to a small son, I don't care if the basement wall is cracked, but stop telling everyone that you come from a broken home. <laughs> the Lord be with you. <laughs> and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go in peace and make disciples. Thanks Thanks to God. God. Let us pray the prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy, Holy Spirit. Save forth the Spirit, and we shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, by the light of the Holy Spirit, and search the hearts of the faithful, grant 